Hey everyone, please welcome at you and hope this video finds you doing super well. So it should be a very quick follow-up to the previous real estate VR video. And since then I've had a chance to go ahead and play around with the Matterport SDK. I've got some early access to that. And first and foremost, I gotta say their support team is absolutely awesome. They've been highly responsive and really eager to help out with my dumb questions around WebGL and WebVR. So thanks to them and props to them for doing that. At a very high level, there are two different types of SDKs that Matterport offers. So the first one being their SDK for embeds, and then the second one is their 3D bundle SDK. They're both designed again for WebGL slash WebVR, and they used to offer a Unity version of their SDK. And you can even find a couple videos of that if you go search back in around 2018. But that's been deprecated since then. But regardless of which SDK you choose to work with, the way you integrate it is fundamentally via an HTML iframe. And you go ahead and pass in your API key as well as the Matterport model ID into that iframe for the specific property that you want to take a look at. And for the purposes of VR, I was actually more interested in playing around with their SDK 3D bundle, which unlike the SDK for embeds, will go ahead and let you render out 3D models as well as light your property with different effects. Whereas the embeds SDK only lets you really do navigation. But unfortunately, kind of ran into a couple issues that actually blocked me from making this tutorial. So the first one being that there's no easy way to turn off the 360 image view that you get from Matterport as you walk through a property. And you, you can actually try this out if you jump into any of the properties on, say, a Quest, for example. Uh, there's an underlying 3D mesh that they use to kind of guide the experience, but as you go from hotspot to hotspot, they'll always render out a 360 image at each hotspot, and there's no way to turn that off and actually see the underlying mesh. The problem there is if you try to add 3D meshes into the scene, they won't feel as if they're part of the actual property. It'll feel more like you're kind of overlaying this model on top of an image, which quite frankly is exactly what you're doing. And you just don't get that same scale effects that you would traditionally get if you actually had the underlying mesh. So to that end, unfortunately, it, it's just not really designed for VR. And that's something that they've told me as well, is that the 3D bundle wasn't specifically designed for VR. And I think it's primarily, in fact, I guess it's actually primarily for this reason. And also, yeah, feel free to definitely check this out. You don't even need the SDK to do this. Just hop into any of these properties on a quest and then look at your controller, which is a 3D mesh, and it'll feel as if it's kind of being overlaid over the image. The second issue was because the SDK bundle is in beta, they limit access to the SDK to only your development machine via a web server that's making requests using localhost. And as a result, I couldn't find an easy way to go ahead and test on a Quest or even Google Cardboard for that matter. And the, the web VR portion wasn't really working with any of the VR headsets that I would plug in. To that end, it didn't feel like there was a really good way to go about testing for VR. So yeah, those two things together basically blocked me from making any progress on the VR front. But I do think their samples are pretty compelling and I definitely encourage anyone to go around and play around with those samples on their developer portal and check them out. And in case anyone's interested, this is just a very quick dummy web server I built to try out their SDK. And then this is the HTML page that's used to render it. Nothing terribly fancy about it, but it's something basic that will get their SDK up and running, which I thought is pretty cool and worth sharing. So yeah, that pretty much does it. Comment below if you're interested in seeing a non-VR version tutorial of their using their SDK. Might consider doing a tutorial on that. Might not. Depends on the interest levels. And yeah. I'll catch you guys in the next one. So, this is the man, and I'm signing it.